But what you're going to do is you're going to break it down into like pieces, into steps, into little goals to comp- to accomplish on the way. And then once you have your sort of plan and the gift that you gave to yourself of a greater future where you can be happy and joyful and peaceful, then you're going to put this plan into work uh, immediately, whether you're ready or not. Get up, get up, everybody move! move, move. Hey, what's going on everybody? Soul Expression here, your host for the series Get Your Mind Right, and I'm very happy to be with you today. Thank you for being here. On today's episode of Get Your Mind Right, we are going to have a short conversation about depression. You see, depression is a very common phenomenon that happens uh, within the, the, the body and mind that sometimes can go a bit undetected or should I say uh, not diagnosed, uh, and, and for various reasons, it can also be seen as normal. But, um, you know, just as a quick reminder at, right here at the beginning of the video, absolutely nothing that steals joy and peacefulness is normal. Your normal state, your natural human mind is always at peace and feeling and 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 supporting feelings of joy but um you know in a society where you're taught to use force to get what you want um we we tend to eventually um right at right outside of childhood start to believe that we have to use force to even get happiness Um, Because for a long time, we don't know that that's all that we really want is consistent happiness, right? Because if you were consistently happy, you don't want anything. When you're happy, you don't want to do anything but stay in the moment for as long as possible. And so, um, you know, it it can be hard to realize that we've become too accustomed to using force to get what we want. Um, not that all force is, is bad or malicious, right? Not that hard work doesn't pay off. Not that, um, you know, consistently trying to improve yourself isn't a good thing. But just the fact that we think that we have to go outside of ourselves to bring in things like joy, peace, and happiness is a big falsehood that leads to a lot of pain. And one of the forms of pain it comes in is in depression. Um, I've struggled with depression in my own life for many, many years. I even had a recent sort of um, like bubbled up inside of me uh, very recently. And I was quite surprised because I hadn't, I hadn't um, been in a state of depression for a, a long time, you know, before it happened just uh, recently. And but you know it that's that's kind of how it works is it's first it gets a little less and you have a little little breaks in between then it just seems to like go away but it might show up once or twice as the feeling and as the it's like glaze over your um like mindset and emotions uh but you still kind of go throughout your day because it, it it doesn't have the same amount of power that it used to where you're you become hyper uh, reactive and, and emotionally unstable around everything. And so I got a couple things that I want to talk to you guys about when it comes to depression that I've learned through not only my own experience, my own real experience, and like I said, even recent experience, but also uh, what I've learned from other people that have totally uh, released themselves of depression forever. And so uh, the first thing is you have to give yourself a future. You see, with depression, there's a sense, uh, a really heavy weight inside of you that sort of is a sense that this, um, this time that you're in right now, this situation that allows you to be depressed, this whatever your situation is, because it doesn't really have anything to do with like money or 
like you know how many opportunities you get because you can be full of opportunities and, and have a whole lot of money but still experience depression but whatever your personal situation is it's depression sort of makes you feel like that is your life no matter how hard you try and change it and so uh, you know getting out of the mindset that we have to use force to get what we want in the future you sort of have to give yourself and gift yourself right a future worth striving towards and a future worth working towards now when you're in an episode when you're like inside or engulfed in a depressive feeling that's not going to be the easiest thing to do so what you want to do is just do it as often as you can on purpose with purpose just give yourself a future create a vision of where you're headed and all of the good things that will come out of it and dream big right dream big like really big so that the happiness is huge when you imagine yourself living in that future and and just give yourself this future and then what you're going to do right and again not in the middle of an episode uh where you you have the heavy feelings but what you're going to do is you're going to break it down into like pieces into steps into little goals to comp to accomplish on the way and then once you have your sort of plan and the gift that you gave to yourself of a greater future where you can be happy and joyful and peaceful then you're going to put this plan into work uh immediately whether you're ready or not and this is like the ultimate depression medicine is giving yourself a future making turning that future vision into a workable plan dreaming big and and then putting that and then working towards it whether you're ready or not and being consistent in working towards it you know obviously taking breaks and 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 resting um as you need to but definitely never stopping never quitting and always working towards where you're headed So uh yeah. okay So the second thing is create for yourself a gratitude statement. <laughs> a gratitude statement is very simple. I did a video on it. I'll leave a link in the description. Um but a gratitude statement is what I use, right? To keep myself from states of depression. and i read my gratitude statement every day and it it just it really helps you know sort of prevent um these states of mind and then even if they the emotions still come up because of the muscle memory and the mental muscle memory that i have and they're they're still felt i can still get whatever i need done i can still do whatever i need to do and be on task and it won't it doesn't have the the same amount of I don't have any belief in the depression anymore. I don't believe it even though I feel it and even though like when I feel it my tone of voice and my uh like the way that I speak may be on a bit of a lower vibration. It's it's it doesn't have any belief behind it. It's simply like burping itself out, you could say. And so uh so this gratitude statement thing is you know, I really recommend that you watch my video that I did on it. and um and make make one for yourself where you you simply list out things that you are grateful for and you read it every single day and that will keep your mind off of what you don't have and what you don't like and on what you do have and what you do like and it'll also expand your opportunity senses right because you'll be able to say you know Hey, I'm grateful for this and this and that and I'm grateful for these people that are great resources in my life for what I am working towards. And so you'll you'll you just in a way it sort of turns on your way to see things, other things that you can be grateful for. And uh and in that you can see opportunity. You can see opportunity that that aligns itself with your plan to get to the gift of your future that you have given yourself. Okay, and the last thing um is a is another unique creation by uh me and my wife. My wife came up with it is hip hop affirmations. 
hip hop affirmations are is is a way of doing affirmation. You know, an affirmation is like I am uh, peaceful. I I am wealthy with you know I am rich with the love of the divine and these I am statements or just powerful empowering statements that you can say and use for yourself um, and they're not all you know super duper short some of them can be a little longer like for example um, let me try and think of one that I've heard before uh, <clears throat> more and more each day I am showing and teaching myself uh, that I am in I am the cause of my life and not simply the effect being pulled around and pushed around, you know, by the will of other people and the opinion of other people. But I am the cause of my life and not the effect. Stuff like that, you know, um, where it'll be a little more concise, but it can be a little longer than just like, I am peaceful, three words. So, uh, so yeah, hip hop affirmations is that but like rhythmically set up and they rhyme and, and when you say them, they're really, you know, they carry the essence of hip hop. They carry that, that, that feel good, that bop, you know, boppity bop uh, type, of, type of energy, type of vibe. And it literally raises your vibration whenever you say them. So, uh, you know, you can go to YouTube, turn on some, some you know, instrumentals, some hip hop beats and write a few affirmations that rhyme with each other. And then when you say them, say them, you know, four times, five times in a row and try and, you know, observe your energy, your vibration literally rising as you say these hip hop affirmations. They really work and they're really amazing. Uh, really grateful for the hip hop affirmations that uh, I've come up with and my wife has come up with. They're really, really great. So that's pretty much all that I have for you guys today. A little discussion on depression and some things you can do about it um you know and 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 again creating these things it's not going to be very easy to do so like when you're in the state of depression uh you know the state that we call depression or whatever but when when you're not so deep in in it right then you can you can start to do these things you give yourself the future you visualize your future visualize how happy you will be uh give life to the visualization right meaning see who's there with you living in this moment when you finally achieved this big goal and and, and what you're wearing and and you know where you're at is is the ground a floor is it the grass is it the pavement is it the sand you know is it marble floor who knows you know uh, but dream big work toward your future every single day read a gratitude statement that you have written and um and yeah create some hip-hop affirmations <laughs> they really do work uh, again my name is soul expression thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate you for being here i do teach these things as a coach and um you know a lifestyle coach and a medita I'm a meditation coach as well i'm quite good at meditation and um i will see you all in the next video peace and love So if you're new to Ufulu Child, make sure you subscribe to get more Mind Mastery content dropped straight into your YouTube feed. If you enjoyed today's episode of Get Your Mind Right, let me know by clicking that like button and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Peace and love.